Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. I am on my lunch hour and thought I would get a quick video in. I got my British Creepy Treasures um, RTS. UPS is here. Um, <laughs> shocker, I'm on another delivery. But um, yeah, this was just a small RTS I picked up. I love British Creepy Treasures. I love her wax. Um, I love everything about her company. I'm into all things scary, all things creepy. So I love how most of her, her scent uh, names, her names of her blends are um, based around scary, creepy things. I love her scent notes and her different um, house blends that she's made up. I, I just love everything about it. She has a really popular patchouli blend, The Exorcist. It's really good. Um, two of my favorite melts from her are, I'm going to screw it up now. I think it's Hansel and Gretel's hat. Is that right? Hansel and Gretel? Yeah, it, it's a coffee, a gingerbread coffee blend. I actually got that in a random act of kindness. It is right up there at the top, top five favorite coffees ever. And then Mornings at Crystal Lake is another coffee blend that has barnwood in it. And that's right up there also in my top five. So really like those. And then of course, Babishook, that's another one of her really popular ones. And that throws amazing in my house. I love it. So what I did is she had a ready to ship um, and a lot of her souffles were marked down and I'm on her website right now and it looks like these souffles are anywhere from three and a half to 3.7 ounces. And right now they're anywhere from $4.05 to $5.40. And I was just looking and I didn't notice this when I opened it. This particular one was poured July of 22. So I, w I just want to look and see if maybe this is one of them that, yeah, so this is one that was marked down to 405. So, you know, I let my stuff cure forever anyway. I have so much wax, so that doesn't bother me at all. Um, yeah, so $4.05, that was great. So most of, a lot of these were $4.05, but some were, were $5.40. But let's get into what I got. So she always sends these pins. Now, I get so excited every time I get one of these. They are the bomb. They write so amazing. I've got two on my, one, two. I have three on my desk now, plus this one. I know that I've used up one or two. I know that a couple of the kids have stolen a couple. They are amazing. I love these green pens. You can purchase these pens on her website. They're $2.50. And I, but I always forget, I always forget to add some more pens. They're always green, uh, unless you order a particular color, I guess. I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, you can pick colors. So there are some multiple colors. A couple of them are um, out of stock, but all of them that I have so far are green because I always forget to add a couple to my order. So I'm gonna have to try to remember that for next time. So on her website right now, she does have a lot of um, ready to ship in different shapes. She's got the souffles. She's got, it looks like um, two different samplers out there. She's got um, a custom loaf option and it looks like she's just got a regular loaf option with some made up house blends. So yeah, lots of good stuff on there if anyone's interested in taking a look. So besides the pen, I did get a sample in Spa Succubus, which is Avo Bath, So White, and Hawaiian Punch. And this was just poured in April. Actually, it's a really cool little jack-o'-lantern shape. Oh yeah, this is, um, I you know, oh, Avo Bath is okay. I have melted Avo Bath by itself. The fruit punch really just sweetens this up. This would be a really good, I think, bathroom scent. I will melt that. Okay, so we'll go to this one, which is the Hallows. It's Nag Champa, Ozark Forest, plus Amber and Sandalwood. And this is the one that was poured in July. Now, a lot of her souffles are layered. And this one is different colors. So, yeah. Um, definitely the Nag is what pops out. I think I get a little of the, 
sandalwood. It kind of runs a little perfumey sometimes to me. But I love Nag Champa. I really do. Nag Champa, Nag Champa. I'm not really sure exactly. I don't think anybody cares, right? That is really good. Uh, she does a lot of Nag Champa blends, a lot of patchouli blends. Um, she has that Ozark Forest oil. And I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know. She she's just she does a lot of blends like that. So this one is called Camp Out. It's from Port in April. Count Chocula, Fire Roasted Marshmallow, and Pie Crust. And she uses Fire Roasted Marshmallow a lot. I don't see um, Marshmallow Fireside or Toasted Marshmallow. I don't know if they're the, the same, I, different oil. I don't know. And this one, I, I like this one. Um, it's not super chocolatey. How cute is that? Um, the it, it obviously is. A little bit of chocolate, but that um, fire roasted marshmallow kind of takes a little bit of the, I don't know, the sweetness out or that, that chocolate note. So that one is really good. I like that. I'll do something with it. Um, here is one. It's pink evergreen plus spice oranges plus sweet and creamy. Did she do a sweet and creamy sampler or did, was this in a sampler or something? This one was poured in November of 22. Um, yeah, this is a, this is, um, it's an orangey evergreen, you know, it's an orange tree basically type scent. It's nice. I love tree scents. Look at the colors on that one. But yeah, this is nice. It's it's not overly um, evergreeny. It's not like a Christmas tree. Um, a little bit of the orange. Not. I don't think it's spicy. And then that sweet and creamy. I'm sure just blends it all together. That one's nice. Oops, those are gonna fall over. Okay, I grabbed Dean, hot apple pie plus bourbon sauce. This is a fresh pour from this April. Oh yeah, little bit of a kind of a cinnamony sugar apple pie colors. Mm, I'm thinking that is the bourbon, that's gotta be the bourbon sauce, what I smell. Just kind of gives the the apple pie. A, I don't I don't know how to explain that one. It's really good. It's um yeah. It's not an overly spicy baked apple pie. I don't know what the bourbon sauce is really doing to it. it makes it maybe a little more creamy. It's nice. I don't have a ton of apple pie scents in my collection, which is why I decided to pick that one up. Okay, so we have eggnog, nutmeg spice, and barn wood poured in November. I do like eggnog blends. I love her barn wood oil. And this one is super good, I think. That barn wood just, I don't, I don't even know. I guess it kind of gives it a, just a really outside woody kind of, I love her colors. They're great. You definitely get the nutmeg spice, but I don't think it's burn the hairs in your nose kind of spice. I think these three notes go together very well. I really, really like this one. I like that one a lot. Okay. And let's see. So the next one is poured in November also. Alpine Cheer plus Icy peppermint plus spiced cranberry. I do love me any kind of cranberry. And the alpine, this is Christmassy. This is the type of scent that will be blowing up my house in December. That peppermint, that alpine cheer to me is a kind of a tree note. And then the cranberry in the background just to sweeten it all up. I love this. I really, really like this one. Like I said, th that's all I'm going to be melting in December is peppermints and trees and things like that. 
Okay, also from November, ginger snap cookies plus sugar cookie dough plus Danish butter cookies. I'm loving me some gingerbread. And this isn't a strong gingerbread. This is not spicy gingerbread at all. It's um, basically, I'm struggling with this one, guys. You, you get a little... A little more than sugar cookie. You can tell there's something in there. I can't get this one open. You can tell there's something in there besides the sugar cookie, but I think it's sugar cookie heavy. So hopefully on the bottom, maybe there's a little bit more of the ginger snap or maybe come out on warm. I do like that one though. That's good. And you know, if, if it's not real heavy on that ginger snap, mix it with something. Take some spicy ginger um, gingerbread and mix that with it. That'd be great. Okay, also poured in November, we have Fraser Fir plus Strawberry plus Mulberry. Hmm. Okay, you get a little bit of that Fraser Fir, not overly strong on the tree. And then I'm going to struggle getting this one out too. I apologize. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, I did. I get more Mulberry than I get Strawberry. So yeah, I'm getting that, um, when I think of mulberry, I think of kind of old school pot potpourri and candles. I think of home interiors. But yeah, I'm getting more of the mulberry uh, mixed with that Fraser Fur note. I like this. You know, I'm one of those weird people that I like the, the old... Um, you know, the craft mall, craft store kind of potpourri -y scent. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Yep, that one's good. Definitely save that one for Christmas. Then I grabbed Crypt Creeper from October of 22. Dragon's Blood Patchouli and Toasted Marshmallow. I'm not sure what Dragon's Blood is. Definitely get the patchouli. Hmm. I don't know what dragon's blood is. Let's go underneath and see. Oh, there we go. Another beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting just a really creamy patchouli. Is dragon's blood perfumey? I kind of get, I'm kind of getting a perfumey type note. Could be coming from the patchouli though, I don't know. Yep, I will definitely enjoy that one. I do like patchouli. I, you know, I, I definitely like it mixed. Um, if this is too much patchouli, I'll just add some more toasted marshmallow or, or a fireside or something like that to it. And that'll be great. I've had actually great luck with everything I've melted from Brita's. Um, there was one that I got kind of a, a light medium type of throw for, and I don't know if I was just, if that was my nose on that particular day, I can't, I think it was the night at Terror Tower, maybe was that it? I would definitely try it again because the notes that are in it should have been really powerhouses. So I really don't know what was going on in my house at the time. You know, I don't know if my sniffer was a little broke, but I was really hoping to get more from that one because it was beautiful on cold. But the Exorcist, the patchouli, and those coffee blends, or the Exorcist, Babishook, and the two coffee blends have been amazing. Oh. oh, I love this. Okay, I guess I should tell you what it's called. Okay, this is Sammy. Coffee Addiction, Library, and Caramelized Pralines. This was just poured in April, and this is so good. Oh, I love her coffee addiction. I, it, these notes mixed with the coffee, it's, oh, they're just my favorite. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. I get a lot of the caramelized pralines on the bottom. I get more of the library on the top. Oh, this is going to be great. I cannot wait to melt this. Right now, like I said, I've been... I finished my loaf of the Hansel and Gretel. Oh, so good. I think it's called Hansel and Gretel's house. You know what? Guess who has a scent list right here? Let's see. 
if it's on here. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's not, not, it, not if it's called Hansel and Gretel's house. Maybe I think Hansel and Gretel's house is what one of the notes were. Um, let me see if I can come up. There's Mornings at Crystal Lake. I have that one. Um, good gosh, guys. Um, going through, I have everything highlighted, um, that I have. Uh, and watch it be on the last page. Oh, it is the last page I looked. Deputy Dew's Brew. It's espresso, which is her new strong coffee oil. It was new when this was printed. Um, gingerbread plus Hansel and Gretel's House plus Palo Santo. All-time favorite coffee. Love that one. Love, love, love. So I finished that one, and I'm doing my mornings at Crystal Lake now. And then once I get finished with that, I'll move on to another one. Sammy, excellent. Fantastic, fantastic coffee. I do love her coffee blend. So that was my latest Brita's haul. I'm going to try to not buy any more for a while. I think I've went maybe a whole week without making a wax purchase, which is fantastic for me. So yeah, um, we'll see if I can extend that any longer or if temptation just takes over and I can't help myself. So, okay, everybody have a great Thursday and um, I'll be back if not tonight, tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.